Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming to the Voices of the Land, Karorpaka and Poolnagar uh, photo exhibit. Thank you so much. Um, I'm just going to say a few words about the exhibit, and I know that uh, you all would want, are here to see the photos, so I'm not going to take up too much of your time. Um, so I am speaking on behalf of the American-Pakistan Education Exchange and want to say how honored we are to have such a, such a wonderful showing here today. I especially want to thank uh, Bristol's president, Dr. Douglas, uh, Laura Douglas, uh, for being here, uh, Attleboro's dean, Dr. Janet Ray, for joining us, um, and a special thanks to our librarian here, Laura Hogan, for taking time out of your busy schedule to help set up the exhibit. Thank you so much, Laura. Um, and of course, all of our honored guests from Pakistan who traveled all the way over here for, to spend all this time with us. We are going to have a special ceremony tomorrow uh, where we will uh, honor them and uh, get to listen to the projects that the students have been working on in collaboration with the Bristol students. So that'll be at 11 o'clock at uh, the New Bedford campus, and it is open to the public. So a little background, uh, I'm Farah Habib, did I say that already? Okay. <laughs> uh, and I'm co-director of the American Pakistan Education Exchange, along with uh, Professor Zubda Zia, who's here as well. Um, the uh, uh, Dr. Paul Edelman, who couldn't be here, uh, is the third uh, person in this trio. Um, the project was made possible by a Citizens Diplomacy Action Fund, which is designed to bring people who have received previous grants from the State Department to do a public service grant uh, project. Uh, my co colleague uh, Zubda, uh, who is joining us, uh, ha is a previous recipient, and so is Dr. Edelman of Sauk Valley. Um, and the, so because they were eligible, we were able to apply for this grant and we were given $10,000. Um, and the idea was to, uh, it was really a grassroots effort. Um, and as grassroots efforts go, we meet, you meet someone who has a particular experience, your, your experience matches theirs, and you t talk and you find yourself wanting to do something. Um, in February 2024, the Apex cohort from Sauk Valley and Bristol traveled to Pakistan. We visited the village of Poolnagar, which is about an hour away from Lahore, which is a major city in um, Pakistan. Um, and uh, we were so touched by the children of the village who seemed to have nothing, but yet were genuinely happy to welcome us to their village. We wanted to capture the profound way in which these children received us, we couldn't forget their smiles. We were so excited when we were awarded the money. We wanted to see what would happen if we allowed the children to tell their own stories. What kind of stories would they tell? What would we learn about village life in Pakistan? So, um, so we traveled, um, we, we gathered um, cameras, digital cameras, because nowadays people don't really use their cameras. They're just lying around. We collected about a dozen. Um, and then once we got to Pakistan, uh, we worked with Zubda and your group of students. Four, uh, two, two of the students and two of the faculty members are here today and I would like to acknowledge them. We have Zoya uh, from the Political Science Department, we have Namra from the English area, and two of the students, uh, Uniza, if you would like to just raise your hand, and Hania. They joined us on this uh, trip to the villages. We initially thought we would use their phones with uh, the students. We just assumed, you know, our minds just thought, oh yeah, we'll just have the students use their phone um, and teach them how to take photos. But we quickly learned from our friends at Canard that many families don't have phones over there. And so we said, oh, okay, then we'll have to use uh, di these digital cameras. So once the children knew how to hold a camera, look through the viewfinder and click the button, they were ready to go. The only other instruction we gave them was to take pictures of something meaningful in their life, an object, a place, or a person, something that they think the world needs to know about their life in their, vill in their village. That's all we told them. So they took pictures, came back, and then wrote a short description in Urdu. Our team helped them translate uh, their stories into English. And you, um, 
we do have the original stories as well. We just don't have them here for the exhibit. Um, but you will find the English uh, translations framed alongside many of the stories. Um, so storytelling is essential to our existence, as, ex as essential as the opposable thumb. Um, they connect us, give us a way to express ourselves. We all know a good story. We all have a story. So let's see what the stories the children of the villages of Pakistan have to tell us. We hope you will be as touched as we were. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. Thanks, Farah, and thank you to our wonderful friends from Kennard College for Women. It is really a pleasure to have you back uh, here at Bristol Community College, and we hope that this partnership will continue for many years to come. I'm really excited to, to see the exhibit. I didn't know the story of uh, giving the, the children cameras and families cameras to take pictures and to see their village through their own eyes, through their own lens, and this will be really exciting for us to see. And I hope that uh, these photographs will be able to, be, to remain here on our college. It's a traveling exhibit, a traveling exhibit. at the end. Yeah, and then maybe can maybe there's a way that we can uh, have some of the photographs or find a way to exhibit them long term on our campus because because I think photographs are a wonderful way to get people excited about learning about other cultures and other countries and other languages. So uh, for me, I know that that's a wonderful way that inspires me to think about the places that I would like to visit or the questions that I might want to ask uh, uh, friends from Pakistan. And we know that having an exchange program is not just about uh, eating the food and, and uh, telling stories, but it's about asking questions and being so adventurous to ask questions that maybe are a little bold and maybe a little sensitive so that we can truly have some of that cognitive dissonance so that we can process what we're learning so that we can really grow as human beings and be more open and tolerant and respectful of other cultures. So I uh, too want to uh, invite you to take a look at the photographs, to open your eyes and open your hearts and to engage our friends in great conversation about where they come from and again welcome and this is a very short visit so I'm very sad to say I get to welcome you today and then tomorrow I get to say goodbye it feels very very short uh, but I hope that this will again be um, a time which when uh, you will explore you'll learn a little bit about Massachusetts and then come back and spend more time with us at a later date so thank you, and let's give our guests a very warm round of applause.